News. Good evening. We begin with breaking news tonight out of Aiken County. Some neighbors in North Augusta evacuated from their homes this evening because of a standoff with police in Walnut Grove. I wanted to take you live to the scene. We have a crew out there as we speak, and this home they're surrounding is on Millstone Lane. That's a neighborhood right near exit 5 off of I-20, and we're just learning police went to the home to serve an arrest warrant for a murder suspect. That's where we are now. Jordan James Perkins. He is 20 years old. He's wanted in connection to a shooting that killed one person and injured several at an illegal bar in Burke County on Claxton Road. This was back in the summer, back in July. But turns out less than a week ago, the sheriff's office announced a $10,000 reward for information leading them to the arrest of these two suspects, Jordan Perkins and also Jawandre Kelly. We're not sure if Kelly is in the home as well tonight, but our crew on the scene did hear them call for Jordan over a megaphone there on the scene. And our Hallie Turner is on the scene for us. Hallie, if you can hear us, if you can tell us what the scene is like out there right now, we saw a lot of fog and a lot of smoke there behind you. Yeah, so it's actually kind of raining out here. Let me push up my hat. Um, we're being told right now by neighbors that this is actually the suspect's mother's home that he's barricaded inside. I'm going to move out of the frame so we can kind of show you. We don't know who all is inside right now. I was told earlier they did come over the loudspeaker and say, hey, we have your phone number. Please answer your phone so that we can communicate with you. What I do know is earlier that they have you know, the law enforcement presence has been increasing out here along with the SWAT unit and a canine unit. Um, they were called to the house and as you can see, they have also were being told that they've sent in a drone likely to scope things out safely. Again, they've still been on that loudspeaker trying to negotiate things. That garage was, the garage door was open earlier, but they've got it pretty blocked off right now. The lights, as you can see over the back of my right shoulder, you really can't see much off my end, but this is about a good of a look is what you're going to get right now. All, law enforcement has been walking on and off of the lawn. There's a gray, what looks to be a gray truck on one side, and then you've got law enforcement on the other side of the house. Hey, so we were earlier, that's what's Hallie, going on right here now. Can hear us. We we heard earlier that they were oh, talking yeah. about putting gas up in the attic. Can you confirm that? I cannot confirm that at the time. Right now, it's super quiet out here. I don't really know much right now. Law enforcement has been walking on and off the lawn. Some cars have been kind of leaving. Some have been coming. So that's about as much as I have right yeah, now. Yeah, Hallie, just really quickly, are you still hearing that conversation between law enforcement and whoever might be inside that house? Have you heard anything in the last few minutes uh, in that communication? Not since I got out here, but when I did get out here, they said just a couple of minutes prior, they were still talking with him, but it's been kind of silent since I got out here about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, all right. Once again, just for people just joining us, uh, we're talking about a couple of suspects here, Jordan Perkins and Jawandre Kelly. We're not sure if Kelly is in the home, but we did hear them earlier calling Jordan on that megaphone. So that's where things stand as we as we speak. And that is from a Burke County murder back in the summer. They just recently in the last week announced a $10,000 reward for the capture of those two suspects. So we do know at least one of those suspects is uh, thought to be inside the home. Crews got out there to serve that arrest warrant and then some sort of scuffle ensued. They got SWAT out there. They got K-9 teams. And since then, there has been a standoff. Now, we don't know if there is a hostage situation going on. We don't know if there's anyone inside that home being held. But we do know that they have sent in a bomb robot that the SWAT team uses sometimes. They usually use those to go in and take a look around. They have cameras on them. Sometimes they'll use them to defuse a bomb. Sometimes they'll use them to um, release smoke into a room to kind of root out a suspect. So we do know that our crew, um, our photographer who was out there before Hallie, saw them uh, rolling one of those into the home through the garage. Okay, Jordan James Perkins, 20 years old, one in connection to a shooting that killed one person, injured several others in an illegal bar in Burke County. But again, this was back in July, so we hadn't heard anything at all about this case for the longest time. And then the $10,000 reward. Right, so we started hearing about all of this police presence, all of this law enforcement presence out here in Walnut Grove. A lot of you were talking about it on social media, asking what's going on, what's going on. Neighbors being told to leave their homes. That's right. In some some cases. were evacuated nearby this home. And um, that's when our crews kind of started heading out there. Yeah, Hallie uh, is on the scene for us. So Hallie, if you hear anything or if you smell anything in the way of gas, I'm sure neighbors who are tuned in, we're going to want to know exactly what's happening out there. Quick update from you before we move on, because we're, we're going to move on, but we are going to come back to you just as soon as anything develops. Give us the last bit, if you would. 
So the last bit, we do have a bystander that was just watching. Um, he has left the scene now, and as you can see, it's taped off right here from these two homes with the Christmas lights on the left side and on the right side with no lights. Again, it's super quiet out here. Um, trucks are still, the lights are still flashing, trucks are still going, law enforcement still is out here, and we'll have that update um, to answer some questions well, shortly. We know these things take time, and we know that the experts are on the scene doing their jobs, and that's where we're going to leave it for now. Hallie Turner, thanks for the live update. We'll check in with you throughout the newscast. They're from Aiken County near Exit 5 in Aiken County near North Augusta.